I am Parmeshwari from a village called Pannaipuram in Madurai district. My parents were not much educated. My ma mother was totally illiterate. My father was done his school studying up to 8th standard. I did my schooling in my village up to 10th standard and then uh, for 11th and 12th I was in a boarding school nearby my village. After completing my 12th as I was entering into college, great fear came upon my heart thinking that Will I do well in my studies? Will I go for my higher studies? Will I get a job? Will I be able to look after myself and my poor parents? So many fear came and crowded my mind and put me down every night I used to cry. Only my pillow only knows how much I said my tears thinking about my future filled with fear. Moreover, I was filled with inferiority complex. Always I used to compare myself with my with my friends and others in terms of look, in terms of talent, in term, terms of family background. By thinking all these things I used to be filled with inferiority complex. Unfortunately I never used to share these feelings with anyone because I never uh, thought to share because I may not get any solution from others. I was thinking to dry, run after God but I do not know whom to go for help and uh, I used to see two of my friends uh, next uh, room neighbors they always used to uh, look confident joyful enjoying their life they were good girls in terms of their character and that uh, caused me a, lit a type of uh, curiosity to go and find out how come these students are confident and uh, uh, filled with the good character and so many other things but again I was uh, put behind thinking that what answer they can give for my problem one day after attending my physics class uh, I was to, uh, uh, rebuked by my teacher I heard by my physics teacher I ran to my room to sit and cry alone but my room was locked the key was with another roommate of mine. I went to my neighbor's room where those two girls were there and no one was there. I, thought, I saw a book kept open on one of the cards. When I lifted that book, there was one word written underlined by red ink, God is love. That word came and pierced my heart saying that there is someone to love me and to take care of me. But I couldn't understand the full meaning. When I was pondering over it, that girl came into, into the room and I asked her, what do you mean by God is love? She started explaining to me that God loved everyone in the world and he came in the form of his son Jesus Christ to carry the punishment because of his love. He doesn't want to see anyone going to hell because of the punishment of the sins that what we do on earth. So he died on the cross and took away every punishment and curse and everything on him and freed every human being who believe in his name so that all of us can enter into eternal life. I started arguing with her with my reasoning mind saying that how come the blood of a man can wash away the sins of the whole world? A man's body contains maximum six liters of blood. How can it wash the sins of the whole world? And she told you have to believe like a little child and then she went away and I refused to accept it because I thought Christians will try to mesmerize people to drag them into their uh, um, uh, religion then I left as such and I went away but uh, something happened in my heart to read that book again and again I approached her and I took the book I started reading great wonderful thing happened in my life because that book told me who I am, who is my creator. The book told me that I am born to live. That book, the verses, whatever I read from the book told me that I will be on top, never at the bottom. The book told me that I am chosen by God. The book told me that I am the beloved of the Lord. The book told me that I am a child with the talent given by God. The book told me that I am the aroma of my creator. The book told me that I am the ambassador for God. The book called me as a holy child. The book called me as a holy citizen. When I, when I started reading and rereading those verses that gave me great hope and great life I found in those verses which are whatever I read and the fear the inferiority complex, all those negative emotions I could see going away from me. I became so confident. Moreover, 
I was a girl that who was given so much into watching movies and reading any type of novel and those habits just left me without anyone telling me that these are the bad habits or you are wasting time and my parents found a great change in me that I was not at all going for watching any movie or reading any dirty novel and uh, and I felt myself so clean and I was uh, started drawing myself towards reading those verses which gave me great hope and as i was walking with him reading his word spending time with him and i became so confident god gave me degree after degrees i thought i may not even go for my pg degree i did my uh, msc chemistry mphil chemistry i i got my doctorate uh, phd degree in chemistry god given me a good position in the society today once i thought that i may not be a blessing for myself and for my parents but today i am a blessing for myself my parents and many people and i am able to share what i received from my savior and i am able to share it to others i could see the joy which comes out by sharing this news to everyone above all above all these things one thing i'm sure today if i close my eyes the world will say that she's died but it's not the death of parmeshwari parmeshwari is going to enter into an another life eternal life to live with her creator forever and ever in that joyful heaven living in the presence of her creator is the greatest hope she has got who those who are hearing me might be having a problems like what i faced uh thinking about future the fear filled in your heart or maybe inferiority complex maybe superiority complex or maybe problems that uh, the uh, the mistakes or the sins that you are not able to give up or you might be thinking about your family background and so many things that you may not be able to come out but there is one simple solution there is a savior nearby you he knocks at your door he knocks at your heart and if you open and you give a place for him he will come and be with you live with you help you to take you towards higher greater heights and you will be a blessing for yourself and for the people around